Isn't it intriguing that even in the world where developers battle daily with lines and lines of codes and enjoy the superhero status in the eye of many, many still face a significant amount of financial challenges? Could there be an undiscovered road to financial liberation for coders and analysts? Let's find out. Welcome to Tech Mastery Hub once again. I'm Olaideji. Today we are diving deep into the world of financial freedom for developers. Are you ready to debug the hardship code and unlock the life of prosperity? Let's get started. I titled today's video, Debugging the Hardship Code. Why? Because um, as developers, especially when we have a nine to five, five um, job, uh, you know, we find ourselves in some form of consultancy, we get so engrossed in this job of ours that um, despite the limitless you know, power it gives us in a world that is digital today, we still face hardship, we still face a lot of lack, you know, battle with um, finances and all such things. But there are quite a number of ways and concepts we could have side hustles as developers. And that's what we'll be looking at today. Let's explore some that have gained traction in the tech industry over time. And I'll start with um, the freelance. Freelance development is a booming field. And what's freelance about, as most of us will know, of course, it's about doing what you're doing at your own time for whoever needs your service. Not necessarily, you know, employed by them, you know. A form of contractual agreement where you solve that problem technically for them and you get paid and you move on to the next. While you have your nine to five um, job, this might be a very good option. So it's a side hustle, I'll say, is there and is booming by the day. The next one is, of course, as a developer, you develop apps, you develop applications and all such, yeah, for your organization, for whatever you're doing. On the side, don't forget that we could create all this too. No, for others. A lot of small businesses don't have websites. A lot of them need application to run that um, client payment and all such things. We could you know, create all these apps for them. You create it based on you are called to do it. Or you create it based on you have something that is on ground and you want to sell it. This could also be a very wonderful um, side hustle. The next one is um, tech blogging and content creation. Of course, in today's world of social media and all such things, blogging has become a thing that is huge, even for non-techies. Um, content creation happens on a daily note right now in diverse ways. Now, you as a techie, why should you be left out of this? The same way um, 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 stand-up comedians could create content, the same way uh, uh, bloggers could content, create content about um, you know, fashion and all such things, you could create your own content. You could create your own blog. It could be a video blog. It could be a... Um, um, a proper blog of um, as in writing. There are many mediums. You don't even necessarily need to create anything from scratch. YouTube video making is one of such you know categories. There are many ways you could explore this, and you will be shocked that it will generate a, a tangible um, amount of revenue for you over time, which can be considered um, as a side hustle. Now let's also look at um online courses. Today, everybody's craving to learn one thing or the other. What do you know as a developer? Of course, we know this thing we're doing. You know these codes. You know how to solve problems. You know how to create applications. You know how to analyze data. You know how to create um, dashboards and a lot of wonderful skills. Turn them to courses. Put them on Udemy. Put them on um, Coursera wherever there are many ways you could sell courses today online so package that knowledge into videos package them into audios as podcasts 
package them into books and put them on Amazon or Gumroad or wherever. Teach people. Make money while, you know, you learn on and on on what you do. So with that skill you have mastered that you are an authority on, put it into teaching for somebody else to learn. And in the process, you are enriching yourself. If you are the type that have stayed a couple of years in the industry and have made a good money, irrespective of how you made it, never forget a source of income is never enough. So what do we do? Invest. What's easier for you to invest in other than other tech startups? It's an industry where you are already, right? I'm not saying we have to be limited to that, but it's an industry where you are already. It's much easier for you to understand the concept of that tech startup. Put your money into it. Invest into it and see what comes out of it. Now, let's uncover some rare and intriguing side hustles that are not often looked into. Today, blockchain development has come to stay. If you are the type that is into blockchain development, it's gaining a huge momentum and it's an innovative space with exciting potential. Don't sleep on it. Delve into that area, build stuffs and make side hustles out of it. Ethical hacking. Today, people are getting hacked, you know, unnecessarily, a lot of um, cyber security issues here and there. If you are an ethical hacker, or you would want to learn on such, have you ever thought of the volume of problems you will solve for industries, even as a freelancer? Don't sleep on it. Become that ethical hacker. Earn rewards by finding vulnerability in people's systems, in organization systems, and you will come back to thank me later. Now, my favorites. SaaS, software as a service. Software as a service is another amazing world, uh, uh, space for techies to make side hustles from. Let's say you work as a developer in an organization nine to five, or maybe you're a freelancer. Yeah, your time is being spent to earn you money. Not bad. But now we're talking about how else can you make a side hustle? to gain extra income to whatever you're doing or any. Looking at SaaS, Software as a Service, where you could create a portal that will offer services or solutions to industries, to individuals, where they come, subscribe. I'll give you an instance. Expense tracking and budgeting. Let's say you create a, a SaaS portal for expense tracking and budgeting, little organizations who don't really have the capacity yet to employ people to solve these problems or build a robust application of theirs to solve this problem. You have built it. It's robust. It's tested. Many organizations can subscribe to use this at a little fee that is not going to be harmful to them, but now you have a solution that is solving a huge problem for them. Now, by the time 10 organizations subscribe and it grows to 20 and it grows to 100, before you know it, it's growing to 1,000, and you are solving their problem by just maintaining what you have built in one source. Let's compare it. As a consultant, you are called by organization A to do that same thing. You go there. You work with them remotely. You have bumped a couple of time or hours on that organization A. Organization B calls you, you replicate the same. Now imagine each time you are individually dedicating to all these organizations. Now let's now go on the other hand, you build a SaaS product to solve that same problem you have been solving for each of these organizations, but now it's centralized in one spot. So rather than you spending that time A, time B, time C with the different organization, it's just that same one time allotted that multiple organizations can, you know, patched into. And you're solving that problem with one effort for many organizations and they are paying you without you necessarily being there or dealing with them one-on-one. -on -one. It's huge. There are many things you could do as software as a service. Expense tracking and budgeting is one of them. 
project management as SaaS is one of them. Social media analytics is one of them. As much as you could think of health industry, you know, education industry, transportation industry, travels, you know, they are diverse. Just patch on that skill, some solutions you have solved for some organizations in the past, you know, and um, come up with um, something else you could do in this capacity. Now, if you have learned something from all I'm saying, let's summarize it. Having a side hustle, it's about making you richer. It doesn't mean quitting what you are doing yet. You may get to a level along the line where you find out you need to quit to concentrate better. But yeah, these are means we could earn extra income. Don't let us get sunk in the river or the ocean of our codes that will forget to get rich. If anybody in the world has the capacity and the tool to get rich faster today, it is techies. Don't sleep on it. Don't take it for granted. So, while you're making your side hustles, let me quickly add this. There are some little, little things you need to put into consideration as par your personal self and your development to guarantee your success. Don't forget your time management is crucial. Your work and life balance, don't let one suffer, be it your life or the main job you have. Balance it up. Don't forget to network. It is crucial to your development. There are many ways you could network today. Social media is there, and paid mentorship is there. Now build your personal brands. Your presence on social media is very crucial to building your personal because when you are doing whatever you are doing, no matter how good you are, if nobody knows about you, how do they reach you? It takes me knowing that this man is good for me to reach out to him. Make your own noise. Blow your own trumpet. Be present in the social media. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn. Let people realize what you have. Interact. Communicate. Form relationships, right? Now, and with all this, don't ever, ever, ever forget to use the power of AI as we have it today. You're building a startup, you're building a new business, you're doing a freelance, whatever you're doing. You could save 10 times of the time you're supposed to use to do these things with the presence of AI today. From content writing to image creation to, you know, Ideas generation, chat GPT, copy AI, you know, there are lots and lots of them, even to lead generation. Take advantage of all these things. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us at um, Tech Mastery Hub. If you have learned something new today or enjoyed or been inspired, don't forget like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We bring things to you weekly. Be the first to know. And thank you for joining me once again.